It's rainy all day. Alrighty, um, I'm gonna show you guys how to tie a uh, fly. I really don't. I kind of made it up on my own. Um, it's led to a couple really nice sized carp, uh, 10 and 14 pounds. Um, start off, I got a size 8 wet fly hook in the vise uh, with the barb sma with the barb crimped but not smashed. Um, so it's like a bump. Still get uh, you get penetration of a barbless with the security of a, of a barb, and it doesn't and it come comes out a little easier than a barb does as well. Um, I'm gonna tie in some silver bead chain eyes. Uh, thread I'm using is red seventy denier uh, Danville. Hope I don't cut it. Um, Alright, to start off tying your bead chain eyes, um, just making sure those are sitting right on the hook shank. Um, now I'm going to take a little bit, this is just a scrap piece of a uh, zonker just from the very top, and I'm going to tie in. This is black, you can use whatever color you want. Um, I'm going to tie my, uh, I'm going to tie the version that's worked best for me. Um, next, I'm going to take some silly legs. Uh, these are like olive and black. And I'm going to tie those in right next to, right next to that, um, tail there. Now I'm going to fold this side over and try and make two legs out of that. There we go. And they're pretty much even. I'm going to trim up this near one a little bit. And uh, next I'm going to take some of this uh, it's like a uh, Antron yarn that I've just uh, chopped up, and uh, I'm going to dub. I'm going to uh, dub this as the body. Um, it's going to be a two-tone body. It has this little hot spot in the rear. Um, sometimes, especially with spooky carp, you do not want that hot spot, um, as it sometimes scares them. Uh, now I'm going to take some uh, olive green, green olive, uh, flyrite, uh, just or just any synthetic dubbing really, and I'm going to. That was just pretty much bulking up the body. Now I'm going to make a little slimmer dubbing rope and fix that up, make it nice and uniform. Okay, um, I'm going to take this camera down a little bit so you can see it a little better. There we go. Um, now I'm going to take some more silly legs. I'm going to tie these in right by these, right behind these eyes. And uh, that's just one I've doubled over. And uh, I'm going to these are so they're even. Now I'm going to take another strand, do the exact same thing. Trim that off. Just kind of mess around with them get them in there better. Now I'm going to invert the hook in the vise and um, 
let's see, where is it? I'm going to take my peacock. And uh, normally I use peacock sword, but I don't have any of that. I ran completely out. So I am just going to use um, normal hurl. And I'm going to tie that in so it extends the hook point. Let's make sure I don't catch those legs. Then I'm uh, going to fold it back. Trim it just to give it a little bit more flash. And uh, then about these legs a little bit more. Um, now for the head, I'm going to use some cream, cream antron, and uh, I'm just going to make a fairly, make a nice tight dubbing rope, because this stuff is trimmed. I made it myself, and it's trimmed really short. Um, I normally make all my dubbing, um, except for certain colors. I just can't make, can't figure out how to get them blended right, or I can't use the coffee grinder to blend it. Um, it's a really neat trick, using the coffee grinder to blend dubbing. So, um, just uh, get a nice size covering on that head. Take off a little bit. Make a little thread head. Whip finish. Pop your thread. And uh, there you go. Um, Indian Creek Carp Fly. Uh, this fly has worked for me for couple of years. I uh, started fishing carp last summer. It's accounted for some decent sized carp and uh, works pretty well on bass and panfish too. I uh, hope you all enjoyed it and uh, go catch some carp.